So let's go ahead and finish up 4.2 by talking about horizontal lines and vertical lines. When we talk about a horizontal line, remember that in terms of a picture, horizontal lines are parallel to the x-axis. Whoa, too bad I can't draw a horizontal line. Remember that they should be straight. It's a horizontal. And it doesn't matter whether it's above in quadrants 1 and 2 or if it's below in quadrants 3 and 4. The biggest piece is that they're horizontal because the equation of every horizontal line is going to have an equation where y is equal to a number. And I'm just going to use the number symbol to remind you that it could be anything. Now if we think about this, let's go down here to these really bad graphs that I drew. If I think about all the possible points that I could put on either of these lines, let's go ahead and use this one that should be straight first. And if I were to label those points, you would notice that, let's just call that negative 1, 1. And that the next point would be the point 0, 1. And this third point would be the point 1, 1. And when I do that, when I start labeling all those points, what I can start to see is that in this table, all of the y values are going to be the same, whatever that number is. So in this particular example, I used a 1. So that your x values vary and your y values, the height of those points, never changes. Now we can apply the same idea over here to vertical lines. Let me change my color. So when we talk about vertical lines, let's start in the same spot. Let's talk about a graph. Let's sketch ourselves a general one. And we're talking about vertical lines. That means they go up and down. Even though my graph may be a little bit crooked, these are really intended to be vertical lines, up and down. They are parallel to the y-axis. They are parallel to the y-axis. So that my equation of a vertical line is talking about all of my points going left or right the same amount. So x is always the same number. Right, let's take this one that we did over here. We just sketch some points that are on that line so we can complete our table. So if we were to label this top point, we would say that it is at negative 3, 2. That this point that's on the x-axis would be negative 3, 0, and this final point down here would be the point negative 3, and let's just assume we made a nice picture, so negative 2. So an example of my table for a vertical line would look a bit different. It's going to have that the x value stays the same and the y value, the height of each point, changes or varies. Oops, I use negative 2. Negative 2, 0, and 2. So again, in the case of a vertical line, the x values never change. and the y values vary.
There are several practice problems below, four of them if I remember correctly. Would you please make sure that you give them a try? And then come back and check your work. Try them and come back and check your work.